Yo, yo. Copper record. Yo. Yo, surgeon. Third dozen. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Akona. And today, it's going to be a very fun video. I'm going to be telling you about 20 different shows and movies on Netflix that you should watch right now as soon as you click out of watching this video so if you want to see what these shows and movies are please continue to watch the rest of this video and if you want to see more content like this make sure you comment like and subscribe so the very first show you should watch on netflix is tiger king it's not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire there are more captive is an exploration of big cat breeding in this bizarre underworld populated by eccentric characters so this show is so good like i it's like a documentary and like netflix needs to continue with like their like um their crime documentaries because like this produced like great work there were so many memes so much like talk on twitter and instagram like even like um urban blogs like the neighborhood talk and then like the shade room picked it up like and you know i guess like off that people think like oh it's some hillbilly show but i'm telling you this hillbilly show was really good well i mean the characters are like people that never are obviously like demented and just psycho and, like off with their head like they're all problematic but i think it told a really good story about like a problem and it exposed certain things that like us regular everyday americans just didn't know about so it opened up my eyes at how like <laughs> these animals like save protect the cats save the animals but other than that it was a really great documentary like netflix 10 out of 10 you like guys need to watch it and like, the first movie i want to recommend to you is called the kissing booth um i for some reason i am a stickler for like white teenagers falling in love it's so weird like i love the teeny bopper movies um i just love it when the kids fall in love i just love watching it especially when like the dude is like hot like or cute or whatever i was like oh okay he's cute i'm in love with him another show you guys should watch and definitely support and binge watch is called queen sono i am in love with the show i knew i loved the show the moment i saw it so one of the main reasons i love this show is because it's a south african show with south african actors and i'm south african so of course i'm gonna support my own but another reason why is because this is one of the very first projects and shows to come directly from africa and one of the reasons I love the show is because it was so different than every, like any typical African show you've ever seen. So like, I know me, when I watch African shows, it's never like, they like to give the same narrative, like, you know, someone's struggling, someone's robbing someone, someone's killing someone. It's a very negative narrative of Africa. And I love how the show gave like a different perspective and they were like, Africans are going to be CIA agents and they're going to be spies and we're going to solve these mysteries or we're going to be detectives and I really appreciated that because I was like wow look at them showcasing Africa in a positive light and I just think that you know because we're South African like you know we're great so support us anyways but other than that like I just think like one of the main reasons is like it's a different narrative than an African show but then also like um it's like one of the very first shows to come out of africa like that goes like a netflix original to come out of africa so that's a big deal next movie is murder mystery and anytime that adam sandler and jennifer aniston link up it's about to be like a classic like i love those two characters or those two actresses um actors and actresses together like they when they get together they do it they do the damn thing so basically murder mystery is like after like um this like they're married they're a married couple and like they wanted to like spice up their marriage you know do something for the anniversary so they travel to europe and basically they get caught up in a scandal of like um of being accused of murdering some billionaire so it just follows and like navigates like how they deal with that and like how they solve the murder and like clear their name the next show like i'm telling you so queen sono was one international show this is another international show it's called money heist or i like to say la casa de papel that's the spanish way to say it and i'm telling you this like the international shows are really putting the americans like they're making the americans sweat because i just like everything about this show like i could go on for days about the show but this show so good like i binge watched it like 
and I think like less than a week it's like um about these people like they you would think like it's about like robbing a bank but you would like you always wonder like how are you gonna have a show about robbing a bank but boy did the Spanish people shut me up because they because I was like you know a bank robbery show like that's weird like that should be a movie but nope the Spanish shut me up because it they did a good job of turning it into a show. So if you definitely have time, check that out. Like of all the shows I'm gonna say, La Casa de Papel should be the very first show you check out. Another movie um, is a documentary called Homecoming by Beyonce. And I don't really think that needs an explanation. Like it's Beyonce, you should watch it regardless. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce. Beyonce. Another show is called Unsolved. It's about the Tupac and Biggie murders. And so it goes into depth about how Tupac and Biggie like, were murdered and like how it tells a story of like how their beef, like they were once friends and then their beef screwed up. And I'm obsessed with like, I love Tupac. But um, I like Biggie too, like I like his music, but like, like I'm a Tupac like writer, like I love Tupac. So this is a really interesting show. If you're really interested in seeing how the like the behind the scenes and it exposed stuff I didn't even know into like who killed Tupac and Biggie and like the show kind of like exposes like the people who like possibly could have done it but like there was I've never any proof. So it was really good insight to see like okay who like who possibly killed Tupac and Biggie. So yeah, check that out. Another movie that I, suggestion I have is a fall from grace let me tell you about this movie it was the most ghetto shikaki bs i've ever watched but i loved every minute of it and i watched every minute of it um the like the acting was very interesting the the scenes just interesting the hair 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 and makeup interesting when you watch this movie everything about it is interesting um but overall i'm going to say it was a great story a great movie tyler perry really did that because it tuned people in like it was a storyline like even though like you know the acting was a little here and there but it was a good story and I, like i kept watching it because i was just like okay now i want to see so basically it's about um how this older black woman her husband left her and this new man comes into her life and he basically manipulates her and like she basically da 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 and yeah like i can't really say too much without giving it away just know it's the most ghetto shikaki bs i've ever seen but it was good like i loved it i loved every minute of it and you should watch it too and i'm telling you you're gonna love it too another show is dexter um dexter like i was like I don't know what was wrong with me i was very demented in high school why was i watching dexter in high school like this is not a kid show but overall i think it's a great show great production it was very um it's about this man who basically he's a like a robin hood so like he works for the police department as a blood spatter analyst or something like that and he basically kills bad guys that have done wrong and it just follows his life of just like and this show has so many twists and turns and so many messed up things that happen but i think overall it's a good story it's a it's definitely like a long show that you can like uh definitely binge watch and you can like thoroughly enjoy it might be like it's a lot of blood i'll warn you on that but overall i think it's a great show great production and i love talking about it with other people another show you guys should watch is narcos and i'm pretty sure you guys have already heard about that you know it's 2020 but basically narcos follows the cartel specifically the medellin i love saying that medellin cartel um it follows the lives of like pablo escobar and all his people and i just love crime scene stories and i love like these like mystery type shows and i don't want to seem like i'm like glorifying this lifestyle of like the cartel but i'm very intrigued like i'm very interested in how certain things work like how was a like i think he was poor pablo escobar was poor so like how did like a basically nothing crime drug lord come up to so much money and like he basically was playing games manipulating and tricking the government into doing what he wanted and play on his terms it's just crazy that like someone with basically so little power because the government likes to forget about poor people with such little power was able to like bring upon power against the government 
it's just interesting and i just think it's a good show everyone should watch it so the next movie you should watch is called secret obsession it's this movie with brenda song also known as london tipton uh from the sweet life of zach and cody and it basically tells a story about how she got into a car accident and she had woke up she had amnesia and her husband her husband came to like pick her up and show her remember all these things about her previous life but then she soon finds out finds out a twist that twist is i can't really tell you without giving it away but basically you should watch that movie it was really good it had me on the edge of my seat and honestly support the disney girls like you know they're really trying to grab their disney life so support the disney girls you know another show you should watch is the people vs oj simpson girl and boy when i tell you about this show like I've watched this series I think at least four times over. It's that good. It's only 10 episodes and it just, um, we already know what happened in real life like because OJ Simpson like who if you don't know what happened with OJ Simpson like I don't know what to tell you like you're just living under a rock. But basically we already know what happened but I wasn't alive during that time but I just know that like I knew the story of it like he basically like well everyone thinks he did what he did um or he did what he did honestly. Um, the show just exposed it like the behind the scene of everything that happened and during the trial and a little after the trial and a little before the trial and it just shows a lot about how I just think it really showed how like unworthy OJ Simpson was of like the support of the black community because he just didn't do much. Then another movie you should watch To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Oh my god, another teeny bopper movie. Oh, I love this movie. And like the second one was good too, but if I'm gonna choose between the two of them, I'm always gonna choose the first one. It tells a story about this girl who um, basically like, she's a quick fall in lover and she just loves to fall in love with boys. <laughs> just kidding. But she basically like writes letters, she wrote letters to these boys and her sister shipped it out. And then one of the boys responded and they navigate through that and they basically yeah and then yeah but basically overall it's a great story i love that movie i i don't even know how i put into words how much i love this movie it's just so cute like i could watch it over and over again another movie or like this is a documentary i recommend is betting on zero this movie or documentary like I am very anti scams. I'm anti MLM, multi multi level marketing, because I don't care what anyone tries to tell you. It's just um, an MLM is a legal pyramid scheme. Somehow, some way, these MLMs got away with it. Like it's a pyramid scheme, but it's legal. And betting on zero exposes like um, one of the biggest ones, Herbalife. It's like, I don't think it's like a really a younger people thing to do Herbalife, but I know like a lot of older people do it. Like my mom, she bought Herbalife, I guess, from someone, but she didn't get scammed from it, but it's just like, it's a chain of events. Like if you know what a pyramid scheme is, there's someone at the top and they're recruiting people. Like, I guess like you're still selling product, but your whole point, it's like pyramid scheme, like you're not really like selling product. It's more about recruitment and that's how you make your money. And so it just exposes how Herbalife is one of the biggest MLMs and it also helped me realize like this whole MLM thing. So like the newest MLM and like please watch out for it is um, when people try to recruit you for Forex. Forex in general, like foreign exchange market is not a scam, but people who are like join my group, IML, like like come from my group, that's a scam. Why are you paying to join a group for Forex? Like, and like the thing is with Forex, okay, I'm not trying to get off topic, but this is an MLM because the people in Forex are making more money off the recruitment more than they're making like actually trading in the foreign exchange market. So watch out for that, but also watch Betting on Zero. It really exposes MLMs and you should stay far, far away from them. Okay, so the very last show I'm gonna talk about is one of my favorite shows, The Office. I started watching it and I was like, wow, this is a great show. My favorite character, honestly, is Meredith. She's so underrated. She's that girl. And if you haven't watched The Office yet, it's 2020. Like, what are you doing? You think you're cool because you don't watch The Office? You think you're like funny? You think you stand out? No, stop what you're doing. Watch The Office. Like, it's a good show. Like, I love it. I love it. You should watch it. 
and binge it it's like a hundred episodes you'll get done with it real quick quick and it's like one of those shows like it'll keep you entertained but you can watch it over and over again and you won't get tired of it i really hope you took something away from today i really hope that all the shows i listed you're gonna go watch them and binge them and the movies i listed also like go watch those and stuff like that um but definitely i'm so thankful that you watched this video all the way through if you want to see more content like this make sure you comment like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell